Hello everyone, this is Royal Miniatures here with another paint tutorial. In this video, I'm going to show you how to put tally marks on your models. This is a fairly straightforward process and it just requires a little bit of paint, but it's a really cool effect that you can add. I'll also show you how to fix it if you accidentally add too much paint. Once you have the surface where you want to add the tally marks ready to go, go ahead and just put a little bit of paint on the tip of your brush. I'll typically use a size zero to double zero, and then I'll just very gently apply pressure, and then I'll make the mark. And you can see here in this case, although these marks are fairly clear, I'm gonna show you now where you can see a very big difference with me now making those first four lines versus those next four lines. So I really like the size of the last four lines, and I'm actually gonna make that come to a total of five. So I'm gonna make one final line crossing it out. But you can see here just how thick those four are in comparison to the other five. So I'm gonna show you how I can kind of thin that out. Now, if I were to do this and act extremely quickly, I would just take a cloth just like this and I would get it just a little bit damp and then I would go ahead and then I would kind of ball it up and then I would just very quickly rub it across the model surface and I can even use my fingernail to try to scrape it off. But in this case, because the model is all dry with that layer of paint, I'm gonna go ahead and use a needle point and I'm gonna show you how you can actually chip away in certain instances where the paint is fairly thick and it just requires a very, very light amount of pressure, but you can see here how I'm just barely able to scrape away at the paint with this technique. Now, this technique I would only really recommend if you have a very, very stubborn area that you're unable to get, and you also have to be very conscious of when you're using a needle that you might accidentally scrape away the layer of paint that you have painted the tally marks on and that will expose raw plastic underneath. So you don't really want to do this in some cases. It's basically just a resort if you want to have really, really high precision, but just make sure that you're being very careful because steel on plastic, the steel will be more likely to scratch the surface. The one method that I would recommend above all else is to use a toothpick. And what you can do in this case is you can actually apply quite a bit of pressure and you can see here based on the angle, how I'm holding the toothpick and just how I'm just barely putting pressure and then I'm kind of driving in one direction, I'm able to really easily scrape away that paint. And you can choose to just strip down the thick mark of the brush stroke and you can kind of whittle it down to the size that you want, or you can just do what I'm doing right here and just remove it altogether. And this is a very, very slow, very, very delicate process. But as you can see here, by using the toothpick, I can get rid of that layer of paint and not risk scraping the initial layer that I was painting on. So I'll show you here now that I'm going to have the paint on the tip of the brush and I'm really gonna dilute it onto my thumbnail, make sure that there isn't any excess and even though I was being extremely careful in this process, I am able to put just a little bit too much pressure and you can see that I made a little ball instead of a line. So I'm gonna to try to really quickly get in here and I'm gonna use the needle. And because this is such a small amount of paint, I can just barely use the needle tip. And I'm just gonna go ahead and separate that mark there and turn that little dot into more of a line. And now I'm gonna go ahead and continue where I left off and now I'm gonna use the brush stroke to make that dot into a line and I'll be really cautious as I'm moving forward. I'm gonna go ahead and dilute the paint on my finger each time and then really introduce just the faintest amount of pressure. And you can see here, I typically will use four fingers when I'm working at this level of detail where I have two fingers stabilizing and I'll actually control just how much pressure I can put on the model based on where my fingers are. So my first finger will interact with a solid surface and then the second finger, I'll kind of just barely push that finger ever so slightly and then I'll be able to apply even more pressure. And then you can see here that once again I have the little bit of white paint on there and I'm going to go ahead and dilute that as much as possible and I'm going to finish up with just three more lines here and make the final tally marks. And in this case I'm not really too worried about making them be extremely precise being all the same height. I just want them to look kind of organic and make them look like they were kind of tacked on there really quickly. And with that you now know how to make tally marks on your models. Thank you so much for watching. I really hope that you enjoyed this video. I'm really looking forward to making more and I have a bunch more in the works. Feel free to leave a comment and show me what you'd like to see next. And thank you so much to all of you that are subscribing. I'm really looking forward to making some really cool content coming up soon. So thank you so much and I'll see you next time.